Hindustan Aeronautics has said that three more Tejas Mark I trainers are set to complete their first flight by the end of the year, and an additional five trainers are scheduled to undergo first flight by March 2024. HAL is confident to deliver 10 trainers in the current financial year, and the remaining eight trainers will be delivered in the next fiscal year. The US Congress has approved the sale of ex-Danish F-16 fighter jets to Argentina, but it remains non-committal regarding the provision of the latest AMRAM missiles, mainly due to objections from the United Kingdom. The Argentine Air Force has expressed a preference for Israeli Python 5 and IDRB missiles to be integrated into these F-16, keeping in mind the potential restrictions on the sale of additional weapons at a later stage. Interestingly, India has offered its indigenous stages Mark 1A with both indigenous Astra missile as well as Python 5 and IDRB missiles. Hyderabad-based startup Arrowbot Systems has unveiled its unmanned guided vehicle, that has been tailored specifically for the Indian Armed Forces. It can carry up to 200 kg and tow up to 600 kg, and with additional attachments, it will be able to execute multiple other functions. The UGV will help users in logistics surveillance and reconnaissance in difficult terrain and environment. Delhi-based ARC Ventures has unveiled an all-terrain multi-utility legged equipment at the North Tech Symposium 2023, that has been developed for the Indian Army. It has a payload capacity of 12 kg, and multiple payloads can be attached such as thermal cameras radars as well as a firing platform. It will use Wi-Fi for short ranges, and LTE will be used for distances up to 10 km. India had plans to procure Rista aircraft directly from US firm Raytheon, however, it now appears that India is procuring three Bombardier Global 6000 jets, and the RDO Center for Airborne Systems will take charge of the program, and will develop the sensor package to convert them into ISTAR platforms. The Global 6000 has a maximum ceiling of 51,000 feet, a speed of 924 km per hour and a range of 11,200 km. The Chairman and Managing Director of Bharat Forge has confirmed, that Armenia had ordered 90 ATAGS howitzers worth 1,265 crore rupees, and the company has successfully delivered 6 ATAGS to Armenia last month and 84 more attacks will be delivered in a phased manner over the next three years. He also said, that the company will seriously start bidding for international programs, and is in talks with 12 countries for export, that includes the US, and several countries from Southeast Asia Africa and Europe. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has taken the lead in developing high-power lithium-ion battery technology for submarines, and has invited Indian battery manufacturers to absorb the technology transfer, and engage in the production certification and supply of lithium-ion battery systems, that will first be integrated on the three upcoming Calvary-class submarines, followed by previous six Calvary-class submarines of the Indian Navy. Thank <laughs> you.